Hello, my people. Hello, hello, hello. What up, what up? Wow, today is bright. Today is a bright day. Wow, 11 likes already. Woo! People are gone. What's this? Yeah. I'm looking rather bright today. How are you all doing? Welcome, welcome to the live stream. I'm, wow, I feel so bright today. Mm, 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 mm. Yo, I'm here tonight. What are the topics today? T Cash, hi T Cash. First, bitch, please. Hi, welcome, welcome. Wow, I'm overwhelmed by the 12 likes before the stream had even started. 11. So I know y'all are about the place. Yeah, mom, I like that. Like that. The topics for today. The topics in the video. In this title, it says uh, how Japan has changed me, or has changed most of us who live here, as well as you know the usual stories. Uh, and yeah, you know, see where it takes us today. Matthew Huey, big up in there himself. Yeah, man. Let's see who's in the comments early. I'm here, prepared beverage here. Back up here as well. No news today. We're just going to talk and chill out. You know what I mean? The new crazy news is, um, man, I can't bother really. What's going on with you guys? How are you doing? How's your week been? Tell me something. I'm thinking. Say something. I'm giving up on you. Ooh. Not bad. Jim Beam Apple Whiskey is really sweet, guys. If you're not like a hardcore whiskey drinker, Jack Daniels Honey Whiskey is good. And this Jim Beam's Apple Liqueur Whiskey is also pretty good. As you can see, I haven't been to my barber in about six weeks, guys. So I'm looking really good for your own here. I'm going to touch up these after and stuff. Not any, Danny, not any. Is that white belt beard? No, no, it isn't. Hi, Harriet. Wow, Rhino, you had lots of sex. Okay. Uh, oh, this is not even plugged in properly. My man. Oh, this is not good. Oh, okay. I'm sexy and I know it. I'm sorry, guys. It was a big mistake. Yeah, man. We are here now. I'm so sorry, guys. I had to turn this thing on. I forgot, right? Yeah, so we're here now. And um, as I was saying, guys, that... um. Yeah. Yeah, I don't want to cut my own hair. It's okay. I like to tell people that I don't want to cut my hair. Um, you just killed your audience. I'm sorry about that. Don't worry about the hair. I can't hear. Oh, can't hear. Oh. You want to you're hearing me now, right? I'm sure you're hearing me now. Let me know. No, I've never been to Onsen jail. I've never been to Onsen. I won't. Don't want to go into a ball stew. I have not seen the vibe. That's not my thing. All right, so hi, Cody. Guys, you don't want to find me a girlfriend. I'm ready to get married now, but um, I don't know if people are getting married to me. Anyways, uh, let's just kick it off with the intro. How could we start without the intro, guys? The intro that you love so much. So let's kick it off with the intro. And I don't sing anymore, I just dance. Let's go with the intro. Roll to the side, roll to the side. Ready up. Big as a guy, Jamaican YouTuber. Do the dance, do the dance. Let's go. Hey, hey, Big hey. Big as a guy, Jamaican YouTuber. It's in my show. Jamaican YouTuber. You know, this is my song, Danayot. Yeah, onto the video. Ready up, Miss Side. You see, I'm going to kick it off with a DJ. I'm going to kick it off with a DJ. I'm going to kick what they are awesome, Najio. I don't, I don't mess with unsense at all, fam. Hi, K. Everyone, Crawford. Hi, Andre Richards. Bless up yourself, isn't it me? Yeah, man. So we're here, guys. Remember to hit the like button as you enter, cause you don't know how the thing set. You see it, super Sierra Andre, mad. 
bro of the place I get warmer. Yeah, it's getting warm and nice. Um, believe me. <laughs> yeah. Rashi Johns, the reminders are working. Okay, great. Good love. Yeah, respect, respect, respect. I think I should keep doing them and stuff, guys. Mm. So, yes, um, just wanted you guys to know that um that still nothing has changed. SOE was extended in Japan. Like much of the world, you know, we are trying to fight this virus here. Hi, Senshi Kuriko. Donnie, I know enough Japanese to help myself. I know to probably call me call and order a pizza. That's very important. Ordering a pizza in a foreign language is God tier level Japanese or God tier level foreign language speaking skills. Time for you, lovely days, to try and set him up with a friend that he would be good for. I am on the UK and cannot do nothing for him. Ha <laughs> ha darling, it's okay. I can travel. Well, not now, but. It's not, that, it's not me, it's me, it's all me, guys. It's my fault. Um, apparently, I'm picky, but I'm picky for a reason because of the background I have. But let's not get into that right now. Let's <laughs> one of us um, start off with some. Um, what did I want to start with today? Okay, so the SOE extended to the May 31st. My company would revisit when school would start back. We resume, sorry. Uh, I don't work until May 17th, and they'll reassess to see what's happening. Cool. Uh, during this time, our salaries will be 60% of what we usually earn. Meanwhile, the bills are not going to reduce or be stopped or put on hold or placed on a moment mor moratorium. My rent still needs to be paid. I still have to eat. I still have to, you know, so maybe I should eat less than I can, you know, <laughs> maintain a, a good-looking body. You know what I mean? But, yeah, that's the situation here in Japan. Why call an order pizza when you can go online? Yeah, but before there was an online, you had to be able to call. And then calling, you know, helps to practice your Japanese listening and comprehension skills. So I don't know. Yeah. Japan, me 31. Bro, that's why you have internet. Bro, that sucks. What do you do? Oh, I did you say 60? 60%. 60. 6 zero. I am an English. I, am, I work at a Kodomo Ikaiwa. I work at a. Ikaiwa, that's an English conversation school. Uh, all of those stuff, all of this information is in the videos on my channel. There's so many videos now, guys. You're you have what I need you to do as my subscribers. If you haven't watched a video on my channel yet, go over there, make sure you comment on it, watch it, share with a friend, share the videos you like. I know you don't like all of my videos, and that's fine because you know, with like everything somebody puts out, but the ones that you like, share them with people, get people to come to my channel, help me grow, help me grow. I become you know, more popular and people get to know you and say, oh my God, I know him from blah, blah, blah. And, you know, help me to put up more content and I'll be more happy. And happy Andre makes you guys laugh more, right? I can go place and go more places because I have more money and I can bring in more interesting stories because, you know, <laughs> you get to go more places, doesn't it? All right. Uh, no operating. I work for a company that rhymes with Hova and it's some trash can water. <laughs> I work with a company that rhymes with. I can't say that. <laughs> I don't want to get in trouble. <laughs> Let's just say there's another YouTuber here that works for the same company, uh, but I won't say his name. You pay for Andre's OnlyFans. What, what, what do you expect to see on my OnlyFans? You just see my chest. That's it. I'm not showing you my. <laughs> all right so 31 of you guys in here that's good 22 likes i'm really lol you just made my sunday interesting how did i do that ariel matthews please tell me more <laughs> right no pb you stop right you just stop You need to stop, man. All right. Um, let's go. In, let's get into it now. How has Japan changed me? So, before coming to Japan, I was really um, I was a sensitive person, but like I don't know how to explain it. Emotional? Hmm. Yeah, I was. Uh, I was a bit hard-headed, stubborn. I still, I still think I am. Uh, oh, you know, a little strong. And you know. It's just really interesting how my whole demeanor has changed. 
why <laughs> um since coming here to japan i have become less argumentative i have become a lot more passive aggressive or and also just passive in general i have I don't argue with people that much except people in Japan. I don't when I go back to Jamaica, I hardly argue. Um my parents at all. I just do what I say and work with the program. Because I guess it's because I don't I won't be there for any extended period. So I just go wash the dishes. I don't care if I wash it 50 times. I just go wash it because I know in two weeks I'll be back to my apartment and it'll be fine. You know what I mean? Uh when you go home, what do you can say has changed? Uh Ariel, I think they've noticed that I've been a bit more calm, more composed. Uh, that's about it in terms of like trying to argue with people. I just do the thing. I don't. I try to avoid conflicts in Jamaica. Uh, just trying to have a good time and focus on the positive. I've always been a very positive person, uh, but I think Japan has also increased our positivity and the views that things will work out eventually if it's to work out. Don't think I've changed much since being here. I don't know what I haven't been here a year yet. Plus, I send them go out. Yeah, I become more patient indeed in Japan. You have to be patient as a teacher. And as a result, you know, why is God wait? Yeah, go back home. We need, sir. No, no, I'm just, I was just saying uh, that what has changed me since being here in Japan, Sanjay. Oh, well, guys, please check out the same Sanjay, the wise grad. He has a podcast that's on all listening platforms, right, Sanjay? I think. And follow him on YouTube, please. Uh, check him out. All right. He's a, he used to live in Japan. He's now studying, he's a grad student in the, the Scandinavian country of Sweden. And yeah, check him out. He's a good uh, Sanjay. I don't listen to none of your, none of your podcasts because you didn't even invite me to one. I'm a feel art. That, I'm joking. I haven't listened to it because it's not my thing, but I will start listening to it. But I like to support my Jamaican friends who are creatives. Uh, so yeah, please check out Saint Sanjay's Wise Guy thing. Uh, saying his podcast. I have I soon started my podcast, that's but um, that's a different story for a different day. When the last time you had a party while well, in back in Japan. I had Wayne Blackwood. I had a party maybe two. The last time I had a party was in 2019 when I brought by the parties myself. Yeah, 2019, November, November, December. Yeah. Like January, I had a New Year's, January, before this whole COVID thing came about. Yeah. All right, so that's most of it in terms of just the noticeable, noticeable things. I think most of the stuff that has happened to me have are more intangible things that you can't really measure. Uh, I don't know my 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 English level has decreased since coming to Japan. <laughs> I, my lexicon has shrunk. Like I'm not able to articulate as well as I used to when I was in Jamaica because I'm not speaking like the. I'm not reading a lot of English material anymore. I'm not engaging in a lot of like arguments or debates or whatever anymore. I'm just on Twitter laughing at people and that sort of thing. Uh, I am a lot less more grounded in terms of my faith because I don't have a regular church. So that has taken a hit. And even though I've tried, like things just don't feel right with most churches here. Well, the churches I've been to and there are issues and that sort of thing. Uh, of course, you know, the big V is gone. If I was in Jamaica, it would be gone, but I'll be married with about two kids right now. Uh, I think a lot of, I love, have lost a lot of friends, like persons I consider really close to me. I have found that I'm probably overestimating my value in their life. And so that happens, part of life. Um, for real, Sanji, the English thing, like you're just searching for words that you shouldn't be searching for, basic words that are in high school vocabulary, and you're like, um, what was I looking for the other day? I was making an argument with somebody, making a statement, and I was searching for a word for about a minute and a half. I could not find the exact word in English I wanted, but in Japanese I could see it, and that was frightening. I was scared out of my mind that I'm becoming too Japanese. And, you know, oftentimes when you mock persons to, or you, you imitate persons for comedy or whatever, it starts to become a part of you. It, become, it becomes a part of your own demeanor. It starts to absorb it into your own persona. And that used to happen a lot to me back in, in when I was in Jamaica because I like to imitate. I like to use do voices. I like to do accents. And so I, I'm just an entertainer. That's my personality. The personality test, I found out that I was an entertainer and everything just made sense. I like to make people laugh. 
I, I like to make people happy. I like to make people just feel good. And it gives me a certain high to know that I have made you, made your day better or made you feel relieved or less sad. Anything. Trust me, guys. I don't know. It's just that's that's the nature of who I am. And oftentimes, I will put others before me, even to the detriment of my own goodwill. And I've learned to kind of stop that because, not because you don't get back anything in return, but oftentimes you become a crutch or you become a constant source to be sucked from like a parasite. Just people keep taking and taking and taking and taking. I know persons believe that as human beings, we often give, we often feel that we give more than we receive. And probably that's human nature. But in some situations or some relationships, relationships you, you can see that there is an imbalance in it and you should be able to like remove yourself from certain situations. Although it might be hard, but you might just need to do that. Hey, Peter, Peter H. Peter H. Hi, I like bag, bag of you. So that's Peter H. My friend from high school. I think, I think if that's the one from Arden. Have you received your Abeno mask or the postcard of stimulus putting it while things along? All right, take cash. I have not received Abeno mask because it's Abe no mask. There's no mask coming to me. I haven't received my stimulus check from or the paperwork for the stimulus check uh, in um, in Kisarazu. Um, they said that the form has to be filled out, paper form has to be done, not an online form because I don't even have the 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 the, the plastic my card, plastic my number. I don't have that, so I have to fill it out with pen. Okay, guys, there are 42 of you here, 29 likes. I know some of you might not be signed into YouTube, so you can't actually hit the thumbs up button, but that's fine. That's perfectly fine, but I know most of you have YouTube accounts because you're all wonderful people. Mm. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Now, another thing that has changed for me in Japan since living here is that physically... I've lost weight and I've gained and I've lost again. <laughs> uh, my hair, of course, my eczema has gotten worse here on my skin. Uh, skin is trash. Uh, that won't change. Uh, I, I'm more concerned about that stimulus check. I got my mask like two weeks ago. Sammy Lorenz, Lorenzo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When you get a. Yeah, the my number card is crazy, fam. It is against that. They want to track you sending your money all over the place because they feel like job foreign people are hiding their money, which most of us are because we don't, you know, don't worry, don't get into that. Yeah, persons have had bad issues with their hair. I, my hair used to be really low in, in Jamaica. I've got more gray hairs, as you can see. All this is from stress from Japanese kids. Uh, my love for children has increased because I now work with them. Even though I have a lot of demon children, like really bad kids, uh, most of them are good. And the impact that I feel I make in their lives is something that can't, I can't put a price on or I can't even begin to measure. You know, just seeing some kids that used to be really afraid of me or just didn't like English, started to like English because of me or the fact that I'm there, they, they, they really want to come and see Andre Sensei just puts me up in my feelings, people. A lot, quite a lot. Ha <laughs> ha, when the wife found out about the stimulus sex, number one went shopping for a fridge. What? <laughs> wow. I am going to use that stimulus check to pay my city tax. That's what I'm going to do. That's what I'm to contribute to my city tax because that bill is going to be crazy according to my salary dog. So I'm going to try and cover at least uh, three quarters of my city tax and then use the rest to spend in the economy. Oh, how much is the 100,000? City tax is like 150. So if I can be able to pay 90. Or 80 of that out of that stimulus and then put the seven, other 70 down, that'd be great. Jay, that city tax thing, bro. If um, but at least with the city tax here in Japan, you see where it's going. You see where it's going into. You see the road work or you see the things of yeah. Yeah, man, get that city tax, residence tax to be paid, fam. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Not getting deported for paying taxes. No, 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 no.
Mm-hmm. Right. So that's that on that. Then another thing that has changed with me in is my I feel my attitude to tasks have changed as well. Uh, it's more of a lazy attitude because I just can't bother. And I don't really have a direct soup. Like I don't have somebody literally that I work with. I work by myself. So that kind of makes me feel a bit more relaxed and laid back. Um, I've always been a carefree person, energetic, but that's just that. Another thing that's changed with me is that my shit has gotten softer. Like, legit. Do you heard me? Like, I don't know if it's a diet here in Japan. I actually said this on Gizmo's channel that my literal shit has gotten softer. Like, yeah. I don't know what's going on, but it's not as hard. It used to be not firm, you know? It's just a bit soft, a bit streaky. <laughs> oh my God, I need to stop. Man of Coach Alonzo, we're going. Poop, Dre, say poop, poop, poop. TR Sega, what do you feel you add to Japan? Well, if I'm not being too precocious, I add my Jamaican-ness. I add... Uh, different type of black person to Japan. I add a different type of English speaker to Japan, somebody that has a good command of the English language, also someone that is easily approachable and is doesn't fit the stereotypes of the American black man or the African black African continent from uh, I don't look I actually have big lips so then, and a big nose. I guess I fit that stereotype. But the savage and the ignorant thing they have for black people, that is the thing black people are, or the violent or scary, I go against that narrative. So I present a counter argument to the, the stupidity that is being portrayed in the media or what is being, what they're, they're receiving by certain media houses or whatever. So yeah, that's what I think I had to Japan. Marika, need some oyster sponge. You big up it too, too big up. Yeah, hey, Tevada, big up yourself. No checks for you guys are really going in with the food. You had some vibes to be honest. Yeah, and some vibes. Yeah, just cook curry chicken. Hmm, oyster, oyster punch. What's oyster punch? I haven't heard what one. work with many Jamaican people. Always relax, and I love the way they stand up. For... Yes, that too. Jamaicans tend not to take bullshit well and we ask questions if we don't believe or don't don't understand something that is being asked of us so in a lot of these companies here they just expect the telephonists to do something and they do it jamaicans and i can speak for my company in particular we don't mess around when it comes to things we ask questions that need to be asked and it, it always happens in the meetings that the jamaicans are the ones that ask the questions and then Everybody else is thinking it, but the Jamaican will ask it. So sometimes the Jamaicans are classed as troublemakers, which we're not. We're not troublemakers. Why are we not getting a Japanese apartment to on your channel? No, I'm not working, Stripe Hawkins. You, you, want, you, you, you really want to see this apartment? This dirty old Leo Palace? No. I didn't... It, I, I did an apartment tour way back when I was in Toyota, and it's the same exact apartment I get back. The same one. How are you surviving in Japan during Corona? Well, I I had well I get I've got my salary, but I reduced salary, and I've just been staying inside as much as possible. As a result of staying inside, I'm able to save more money. Although, you know, I should buy something, but never never mind. So yeah, but the grocery bill has gone up because I'm eating so much food, fam. Like, how do you guys not eat food when you're at home and there's nothing to do apart from sleep? You know what I mean? We ask why we are not afraid to put our honest opinions out. Yes, Garen, that's true. We, 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 Jamaicans, don't tell you, you can't trick no Jamaican, really. 
in any country, in country one, if this one, if there are two or three Jamaicans in a group in the same workplace, it's going to be a problem because we band, usually band together and we try to not be pushed over by anybody. Remember, all the rebellious slaves, you know, were sent to where were, were <laughs> the worst, <laughs> the worst slaves were sent to Jamaica to be broken in. We are the most rebellious people, slaves in the Caribbean. So, you know, say I'll be a badness back away. Yeah, yeah. Seriously, as a black man, you show other young black people that there is a world outside of their environment. They can do it. Okay, that's true. Sterile, I forgot that point as well. Uh, that my friend, well, that my friend Ranzo does. He's on his channel, Black Experience Japan. He wanted to be like a beacon of hope to other black people to say, hey, there's life outside of America or the UK or wherever you wherever you are in the world. You can go to other countries and make a life. And so he shares those stories on his Black Experience Japan channel. Yeah, he's he he's doing a lot of good work over there. No, we can do without the tourists saying no to the past tourists. Right, Sanjay? Right. Have you picked any new skills or side hustles since Corona Tebado? No, I haven't picked up a damn thing, Tebado. I've been start been trying to study some more Japanese so I can actually do a proper test and get a certification. Because translation work pays seems to pay a lot out here. So I need to get my Japanese up like formally. I have a lot of uh, informal Japanese, which won't translate, get it? <laughs> right, won't really translate into the work world or to work with a Japanese company. Yeah. Jamaicans are very similar to Osaka Jin people. We see what we think. Okay, talk to you, Cash. You, you Japanese now? Did you have a similar problem in IT? Ask questions, equal answers, equal taking up time in a team meeting. Answers also shut up and get to it quickly. Ask later. I see. Recently in a meeting, I stood up and asked a question We Corona and Paley if we were forced into the 14-day quarantine. The facility had no answer. They had no plan. Karen, a lot of these persons here in Japan don't are not as mm, intellectually... What's the word I want to say? A lot of them are not intellectually intellectually gifted or they are unable to use their discretion to answer certain questions that are not outside of what they prepared for the meeting or for just for any situation or in any case they're not able to make guided answers or decisions based on a situation and even if they want to provide the answers to you, they might have been told by their company to shut their mouths. Because in Japan, <laughs> all of the companies here work through loopholes and they try to avoid taxes and try to avoid certain uh, concessions because of how they set up their company. And as a result, you know, they just try to bypass all of the loopholes in the laws and stuff. Channel runs the channel. That's how I found the Hi, Stary. Oh, cool. Thanks. The whole room went numb. Mm. The hope I can work with many troublemakers in the future. I love people being real and not concerned with that tatamaya shit. <laughs> Crazy. Hakimi, have you picked up any new hobbies since lockdown? New hobbies? No. I need to work on my old hobbies, like my music. And I want to learn how to do animation. I think that's what I really want to do. I need to start doing that some more. Emotional intelligence. I didn't want to go there. But yeah. Oh my God. Jerry, moderate his comments, please, though. Hey, what is Which company are with? I can't tell you the company that I am with right now. Cool America. Nice, 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 nice. No, I have not considered going to Japanese school. I haven't. Right. Anyways, so with that being said, where what was I talking about? Right. So it was of the company. Right. So that's as well. Uh, what is interesting, Nico? Blackwood says, I'm curious, have you had to cuss any bad word on anybody because of this? I can't. I have cursed myself, maybe. I have 
<laughs> Yo, some kids. <laughs> I've said, what the hell is wrong with you? Doshta. Like, I've done that, but. Oh, damn. I don't know. Mm. I've cursed my friends. I haven't cursed anybody in Japan like that. No, I'm sorry. Hey, Adam, what's good? What's good, Adam? What's good? What's good, Adam? What's good? What's good, Adam? How you doing, mate? Do you ever get recognized by people you work with or on the street? Do you, do you talk about it with you? I have not had any deja, deja vu moments in Japan, Big Save. But yes. Oh, nice, Adam. Back to work. Nice. So you're getting that moonlight, getting that money. That guap. Okane dash the kure. Oh, okane cho that. Sorry, that's, that's a different joke. Anyway, um, yeah. TR Sega, I get recognized every time I go to Shibuya, at least by one person saying, Oh, are you, is that all your pills? I'm like, Yes, pills. Man, I watch your videos all the time, brother. So it's like crazy. But it's so real to me. I don't feel like a celebrity or anything because I'm not. But I mean, I don't. I never understand why people don't stop and talk to people or act standoffish with people when they meet them. Some people are socially awkward, but. I am just like, it's whatever. And I talk to him and say, hey, you want to take a picture? You want to on Instagram? Sure, fine. No problems. Because if with all people watching me, then I don't really have a platform. So that'll be grateful. What's the thing? I'm cuss words in Japanese. You're still kind of in it. Ha ha. Oh, money training and stuff. Oh, my bad. Ha had any weird corona dreams? No. I don't even dream about girls having... having Having or meeting girls anymore. It's weird. Mm, getting old. Getting old. You know, to be honest, I have, hmm, it's almost, oh, wow, past 30 minutes. Wow, past one thing. So tell me, uh, anybody who has lived in Japan, how have you changed since coming here? Please put in the comments and then I'll go into some stories. And of course, it's Mother's Day today. So happy birthday to all the mothers. All the mothers who have raised their children, all the mothers who have been teachers as well, or what in whatever role or capacity you are in as a mother, that is one of these the most important job in the world. And we can never pay you back for what you've done for us for keeping us alive and for caring for us and nurturing us and providing a place and being a role model to us. Love you, mommy. Elaine, I love you, Elaine. We'll get call you later. She doesn't watch my videos. I can't have her watch my videos. I can't tell my mother watch my videos because you all know what happened. Also, since coming to Japan, I have also changed in terms, as I said, the big V. I would have never in a million, thousand, fifteen gazillion years in Jamaica dated or had relations with someone's wife. Never. Because I would be dead. D E D dead, not D A D. D E D bro, dead. Jamar, are you okay? Listen, you know my stories of love triangle homicide, <laughs> suicide happening in Jamaica farm. Listen, I didn't want to even be a statistics from the girls that oh I have a what do you have a allergy? I didn't want from she says so you know what Andre I have a I'm like okay it's fine it's cool stop. Don't, don't go further. Don't go any further. She could be saying, I have an allergy. I don't want to hear it because I don't want to be killed by an allergy. You know what I mean? Right. Cool. Happy birthday to all the moms. Happy Mother's Day, T Cash. T Cash, Mother's Day. <laughs> I have never dated an American girl. I have dated an American Haitian. Not change that. Do you think it was to, has to be able to come to Japan this August, but light year? Or do you think all of us will cancel? <sighs> Coming to Japan in August. I don't think Japan will be back to normal, normal till next year, to be honest. But I want to go to work. I need to make money. I have dreams and goals. I need that to be sorted out. Oh, I said happy birthday? Oh, Wow. Well, happy Mother's Day to all the mothers. I didn't know why. Why is happy birthday, though? Wow. It's a mother's birthday around the world, guys. Leave me alone. Ha! Jesus. You know what, guys? 
You're not being nice. You're not being nice to me, and I'm going to end the stream right now. I'm joking. No. <laughs> right. So now, seeing that it's Mother's Day, I'm going to share a couple of stories <laughs> of my mother and how she raised me. No. <laughs> well, some of my favorite stories of my mother. Uh, let's see. Hmm. All right. So let's start with something um, a bit crazy. Do you have a get gensuki or some sort of detention? No. Are you an alcoholic? No, I'm not. What? Fam? Pause. How long do you want to stay in Japan for? Kill ex kill Zen? I don't know. I get asked this question every time I do a live. I do not want to be in Japan in the next maybe three years. I want to be somewhere else. I feel like I have so much to go to give. Uh, but if the music takes off while I'm here in Japan, I don't know what will happen, to be honest. Did she ever catch you doing something you weren't supposed to do? Whose mother has never caught them doing something they're not supposed to do? Like, that's a kid's door, fam. I, what? 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 <laughs> of course. Uh, mm, let's see. All right, so I'm going to give you a more recent story. Oh. Uh, <laughs> oh, something we said. So basically, before, when something we said, my mother being my mother is a uh, educator as well as a deaconess. Uh, she was a principal of a prominent girls' high school in Jamaica in her latter years. Uh, she's now retired, and she used to lecture at a she used to lecture at like a, a teachers' college in Jamaica as well. So oftentimes, I would help her mark her papers, multiple choice papers that short. Oh, help her with the marking process, right? And so that was some quality time we spent together. We used to laugh, and she gave me an answer key, and I just check, 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 and do whatever, and help her tabulate. I was also I was always a numbers person, so I used to help her with the calculations and stuff to make sure everything was okay. No matter say, no matter if they hear what I said, no matter say, no matter give all this information, right? So, oh, uh, <laughs> she. She, um, during that time, she also had a friend that was her close colleague at the time. I used to wash my father's car in university. I used to go like up to Big Ship Studios or Stevens, um, Steve McGurl, right? Go up to his studio in Havendale. And I also got music from him. Now, what I used to do was that my grandfather's car used to have really nice speakers, nice bass. So I used to play the CDs in there while driving, pull them out. And put it in my room. One day, I had a CD with Vibes Cartel on it. Vibes Cartel, raw music. Now, my house was beside the church. My house was on church property. All right? Yes, my father's a priest. My mother was driving that car the day. On the way home, I was at home. All I hear is beep, 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 beep. And something must be happening. So my mother drives on the driveway at speed and draws the brakes, skids the car to a stop. And she beeped the horn, beep, 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 until the horn got stuck. So we thought that somebody was chasing her, trying to run her down, thought somebody was following her, trying to kill her, something like that. So I said, what, what happened? She went window. You come here to me. This, what is this filth on the radio? I'm like, what? This nastiness. I'm like, this nastiness. So no, mommy, it's a radio. What's talking about? It's a radio. And my mother starts to press the buttons, but she can't. She, she's not really. <laughs> she's not really like. <laughs> she's not technical. <laughs> my mother and technology at the time weren't really friends. And the cartel song was mostly um. Picture me and you, you know, the tree. F -U -C -K -I. But I'm like, what? No, mommy, mommy, it's the reader. Mommy's a reader playing that song. The reader don't play the shit. The reader don't play the shit. And she, and she pressed and then she got fan and pressed the button to play the CD. Brother. Brother, man. When the cartel play, I was like, oh, shit. 
people? My mother lost her mind, not because it was playing in the car, but she had given her co-workers a ride home and she had played the thing in the car while they in the car and she didn't want to stop it. And that nasty bad word started playing. So it wasn't only the fact that I had disappointed her, it was the fact that it had put her in a bad light. She was the head teacher thing at the time and it put her in a bad light with her colleagues in the car. So she had to drive it home and then she, <sighs> brother, <laughs> now I laugh, but at that time, my balls receded all the way. My nipples were pointy. My butt was clenched because I was about to die right there. I thought, I thought, I think about myself. I swear to God, because my father was over the church having Bible study and hear the horn. Everybody rush out. Fam, mm -mm 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 -mm. So my father said, I don't want to say, I told, bring all the CDs to me. So this was the second time that my father asked me to bring all my CDs. But this time I just brought all of them to him. And he broke one CD, put it in the garbage bin, and said, break out the rest. So I broke up about six or seven CDs in front of my parents with the slack music. <sighs> but before that, my parents know I really love music. I want to be a DJ and that sort of thing. And they really encouraged me, but they didn't want that filth in the house or in the car. But yeah, what are you going to do? When you forbid things from people, you're going to do it, right? So I was like, hmm. Yeah. That was in university, actually, I think. Yeah, because that's when I was driving. My God. Whew. My parents went through it. But they really like, they're really lax in terms of of how they allowed me to grow up and experience a lot of things, a broad, broad spectrum of things. And they're really cool, though, to be honest. Now, look at it that I mean, who would have thought the parents are allowed to go to a party? Like, what? You know what I mean? So, yeah. But mommy, my mother is the one that is usually the more expressive. I get all of my mannerisms from her. She's dramatic. She's over the top sometimes. Very intelligent. She's a, she has her doctorate, you know, PhD. Very articulate, very compassionate. But trust me, man, my mother, when she goes off the handle, she goes off. And she used to, she, <laughs> I remember one time my mother, I did something to my mother. And she said, Andre, you're going to kill me. You're going to kill me. Now. And my mother, who at the time was taller than me, she's not taller than me now. I was about 14, 13 or 14. My mother lift, lifted me up and shaked me. You're going to kill me. You're going to kill me. Like, Mm. Don't fall, don't fall, you think. Okay, right. So she like this. This is pickles. You're gonna kill me. You're gonna kill me. And she shaved me, and my head was like going all over the place, right? I was like, I wanna, you know what I mean? Hey, hey. Uh, man, trust me, man. <laughs> ah, those were the days. Those were the days, fam. But she has really, I remember my mother really sacrificed a lot for us as a family. Uh, my brother and I, there were two of us, uh, both of us went to Arden High School. And I remember my mother used to work so much, like she taught. Remember, teachers pay in Jamaica was really, no, I'm not a, I wasn't a badass kid, no. Um, teacher's salary wasn't, wasn't anything to speak about. Like what I'm earning now, my mother started earning when she became like a lecturer. But back in the day, as a regular high school teacher, you were getting jack shiznit. So that's why people in Jamaica who teach used to work, go away in the summer sometimes to work or go on my papers, do extra things because teaching in Jamaica doesn't pay. And it should be one of the best paying jobs because you are the ones that are training the minds of the tomorrow or the future or the present, whatever you want to say. Um, my mother used to go abroad and work and stuff and come back. She go abroad working on land. My mother used to work a lot of jobs, like go to CXC amount papers or that sort of thing. She would wear, I remember her wearing one pair of shoes. One, one, one pair of shoes for almost a whole year to make sure that we could get extra lessons and to make sure that we were comfortable 
you know, I never understood the sacrifice at the time. She didn't tell me, but I remember her wearing the shoes until the heel. The heel came off. And because she wanted to ensure that we got the best. Um, she really worked hard and sacrificed a lot. I mean, I mean, I know she gave me hard. Well, I felt she was hard on me at the time, and she has her ways, but trust me, man. In terms of providing for her family, uh, both of my parents were really, really, really good at making me very resourceful and making things work. Uh, yeah, trust me. And then I remember one at one point no, I was I was doing I was I was going to school and I had a church shoes. Um and I don't remember how something we we're having we're going through hard times, I think. And I wore the shoes, I wore the shoes all everywhere to school, to church or whatever. And my mother saw the hole in it and said, Oh dear, why you keep wearing the shoes? But Tom, why never tell me something? She's mommy, I just wearing the shoes so that we I know we don't have a lot of money right now, and I just want to help out. And she said, at that point, my mother said, she was, ah, at that point, my mother said that um, my mother broke down and said, like she said, Andre, why we need like, and mm, 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 mm. Whew. ah, Ooh, shoot. Yeah, um, at that point, at that point, my mother said to me that Andre, she never knew that I was thinking about those sort of things, and that showed how compassionate I was as a young man. And she said to me that she always thought I'd become a doctor because of the compassion I show for people and my generosity, and that's what she always wanted for me. And I didn't, I liked the science in high school, but I never really strived for it. And so, I mean, I guess that was one thing she really wanted, but she was really happy with me. Is me, yeah. So no man, trust me. I am, yeah man. I love her man. I love her mother. I tell her every time. I love her. Even though, you know, I even tell my friends that I love them, but they know it's them. want to hear that. So um, yeah. Woo. Sorry about that, guys. Anyway, so back to some more funny stories. So during my university, when I was at university, um. When I was at university, University of West Indies, Pelicans, is me, Preston Hall, AZ Preston Hall, Sandals Mona, the university in Jamaica. No, make money, it's still different. Yeah, UA, the real place. Anyway, um, I used to study late a lot. Uh, study late. I used to be on campus. But I was, re I was the mo in 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 my fresh freshman year, freshers. I was the most active off campus person, and. Thank you, Mama, for carrying her name as you carry me here. And so I remember at one point I was in the library studying. I had my phone wasn't charged properly. So I was studying in the library with my friends and whatever. And my phone had died. I didn't know my phone had died. Like, I didn't know my phone had died, but it was off and I plugged it in to charge it. This was like at 10, 10 30, going to 11 o'clock. We lived in Vineyard Town. So Vineyard Town is like just behind Excelsior. But it was clo very close to Mountain View. It's off Mountain View Avenue, which was a volatile area in, J in Jamaica. It still is. And near, I live very, I live like maybe five streets away from Jake's Road, which was a JLP stronghold. Uh, PMP was ninety the side. But anyway, the point is, my mother was one that was very concerned about safety and security and communication. It was really important to her. My mother decided that um <laughs> that she wasn't hearing from me. Which year ago you I didn't know of you? I didn't know of you. What do you mean? What do you mean you didn't know of me, T Cash? My name, anyway, let's not tell us, we'll get into that. So I went, I was at the library studying, the main library studying. Yes, JTP, I lived in Minnetown. Yeah. For 19, 19 years. It's just since my final year, UA, April, I moved up to. Right. So what was I saying to you? Yes, so I was in the library studying my friends for an exam. My mother drives up to the campus in her with her head wrap up, my brother in the car. I wa I'm walking out of the library. I hear the horn. My grandfather crying, beep, 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 Andre, Andre. I'm like, who is that? So somebody said, Andre, is, is that your mother? I'm like, my mother? 
why would she be? I turned on my phone. I had a Sony Ericsson at the time. T something, T whatever. I saw 10 missed calls. 10 missed calls. 10 voicemail. I'm like, oh, Jesus, have mercy on my soul. <laughs> I come out and look. It wasn't, it wasn't Ericsson. It was the um, Siemens something. One, either for the flip up one that didn't have the thing. The screen was down here, but the flip up to the top. Anyway, I look at my mother is there going off. Andre, I tried to call you. Where were you? I'm like, mommy, I was. All right, so I go tell mommy. All right, guys, give me a second. Mommy, I was in the lab studying. I just going to drop these people home. You're going to drop people home where? She leave us retirement. She leave where? You can't. I said, you come on right away. You come on right away. You come on right away. And I'm like, oh, she's neat. Oh, yes. So I'm like, all right, mommy, soon come. And I go into my car, which is a Suzuki Ballet, you know? Hi, Rose Webb. Hi, hi. And I dropped one people. I drove so fast to drop all those people and come home. I got home like five minutes after my mother. And she was worried, sick. I, I said, Mommy, what happened? I was saying, Andre, I know, but you need to communicate because times are hard. At that point, people were getting taken away, kidnapping, one bag or something. It was really a hot, like where at the period I was living in Jamaica, it was really hot. Like things was people were just going missing for no reason. And they found they were found in main library, yeah, T catch main library. Hey, hey, listen, 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 Coco. This is my hair, yeah. You're gonna you're gonna love it or no? Isn't it? I'm gonna do my hair on Tuesday. I'm gonna um I'm gonna twist it on Tuesday, I think. Twist it, rope twist, yeah. Oh yeah, I get along with my mother. I get along with mother. I went to UA from 2000, uh, 2004 to 2008. T-Cash. Listen, leave my hair alone, yes? This is the, how I wear it right now. This is the Corona style. You get me, bro? Straight up. How comes your talks alone in the Leo Palace? I don't know. It's not 10 o'clock. Oh, it's after 10. It's not 11 o'clock yet. Um, when this, the stream is finished at 11.05, so I'm quite fine. I can talk loudly. I don't think my neighbor is there. And if I talk, if I'm not, when I make too much noise, they knock on the wall. Can you plot? Um, no. I'm going to have my friend read. I can try to twist it, but it's not so hot. Rose will be, I send money to my account. I send money to, well, to my brother to put in my account. Because, yeah. T Cash 2008, which, 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 which hall T Cash? Which hall were you attached to? Yeah, 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 yeah. When you left, you um, Sanjay, shut up. They can't just have born in 2008. Taylor Hall and Hall at all, they must sleep and go and need a bed. Hey, all them, all them, they did the um, T Cash Falconia. How is the banking like in Jamaica now? Because I hear bad stories that most people don't have a bank in Jamaica. Hmm? Chancellor, mad. See the twist up the ear. I make a drop, girl. Them and let me not. Mm. Oh shit! Yeah. So Taylor, there's Falcone and I can't remember the one. The girl one them. I know Attica, black egg, black Attica butchers, roosters. Yeah, but anybody go with the with himself. Yeah, the bank in Jamaica. I am um, just the usual stuff. I have a bank account with NCB because I used to work there, and that's basically that's probably the only reason why. <laughs> yeah, so that's those are couple of mother. No, uh, you're a commuting student. Okay, so why are big up till Alexa, girl? Bye. Bye. Um, <laughs> Taylor Hall. 
Now, I want you guys also to, well, my mom, I don't, do you have any funny stories about your parents? Like, my mother also is a good saver, and she believed in saving. And so that's how she was able to accomplish most of her goals. I didn't in, in, inherit that saving book from her. I wish I could save like my mother. She's just an amazing financial person. She really knows how to stretch things. Like, I used to remember cooking, helping my mother bake. And, you know, licking the bowls out when it was finished and stuff. That was There's some really precious memories with her. And, um, yeah, man. Yeah, my, my mother. <laughs> I remember something again. Uh, I, when I was, was I at university? No, I, was, I think I was working. No, university as well. Uh, there was there was some service data outages back in the time. Service, no service at all. Mother called me, don't get me. Uh, university. So I come home now. My mother says, oh, really? As the Cocoa Bells move. Who didn't lick the bowl when they were kids when they were baking cake and them something goes up and I'm not lick out the bowl? Who didn't do that? Please. Hey. Um, my mother tries to call me, but there's no service, so the call goes through the voice. When I arrive home, the my the service kicks back in and I get like a bag of missed calls. Someone said, Oh, Joe, come on, call, I can't get you. I said to my mother, I said to my mother, Mommy, I didn't have any service. So the call, I don't care if your battery dead, our service is there. When I call you, I must get you. You understand me? You understand me? I said, Mommy, but if I don't, I don't care. When I call you, you must answer the phone. Brother. People, I, my mother has some moments in her life when, when she's angry or when her head chip, that's it. No, no logic is there. Just the raw emotion, which happens always. The ball, the bowl, the bowl, the baking bowl. When she used to make the butter with the fruit prunes and the butter and the sugar, see me, I clean up, mm, yum, 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 whatever. You see me? Who never did that? I didn't literally lick the bowl, your man. Would, my mother would kill me. Like, literally, yeah, she would literally kill me. <laughs> yeah, but, I mean, apart from that, that's good, my, uh, you know. Yeah, that's what's up in this place, people. All right, we have eight minutes left on the stream. Can you please bring in... Please bring in your questions. Final eight minutes are questions for you. And that will be today's video. We're taking a piss, Drilo. We all lock balls clean. Mm -hmm. I know you're taking a piss. Y'all are not. You're just being mean to me for no apparent reason. What do you guys have for Sunday dinner today? Or what's for breakfast? What are you cooking for your mother? What are you doing for your mother today? Let me know. I'm going to call my mother after this. And wish her happy Mother's Day and talk to her a little bit because it would be remiss of me not to say hello to her mother. Or I could wait till I wake up and call her in the night. I could. Actually, listen to her voice note after this. Actually, I'm listening to her voice note right now. Because my love is the one that say anything. Say it right now. Live. Let me see. Go there, mother. <laughs> oh, she said, let me see. Like two minutes ago. Good morning, mommy. Yes, I'm okay. I just seen your message here. I want my live stream, and I want to know. I want to let you know that you are an amazing woman. I love you, and a happy Mother's Day. I hope that you continue to see many more years. Why am I telling you something like it's a happy birthday, right? But you have been really influential in my life, and you continue to be a paragon of virtue, a leader, a caregiver. A steward that persons should emulate going forward. And hopefully, I can grant you wish of getting you <laughs> a daughter in law soon. I don't know. We'll see when things work out. All right. Love you. Mama, Mama, you know I love you. Mama, Mama, you're the little mama. Mama, I 
God is why you do. No. Loving you is like food to my soul. Hey. Loving you is like food to my soul. Loving you is like food to my soul. Love you, boy. Yeah, man. All right. Yeah, UK and someone else has a different Mother's Day, I think. Uh, mommy's boy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah, stop it. Yeah, okay. Yeah, mommy's boy. But, like, don't you guys know what parent you can go to with what type of question, what type of problem? You know that, right? So, like, I'll go to mommy with certain things, and i go to my father with certain things. Like, about ladies and women, i go to daddy. If it was for grades, who would I go to for grades? Bad grades. I think it was daddy and then mommy. Yo. <laughs> I don't know what to ask daddy. I don't know what to ask mommy if I want to go out to the party. I ask mommy first. And if she says yes, I go, and then, and then say, you ask your father. I said, no, what about my father? Why do you ask your father? I said, mommy, I mean, does it matter? Yes, it does. If daddy says no and she, uh, she that's it, it's over. <laughs> Right, Peter, march up to Digicel because you only had one service, two services right? Digicel and Kayla Wise. And remember Clara? Poor Clara. Mm -mm -mm. Clara just did in the show. Uh, Rose, bless up. Yeah, I was a bit off key. I've been drinking, but uh, Big up in a Sanjay, isn't me? Please check out Sanjay's YouTube channel, guys, and his podcast, the what Saint J Saint Sanjay the Wise Grad. Please check out my friend Jiri Mills, Jiri Magnificent, and Waru Pan. You know the caps in the background there? That goes ahead. Pabanda brand. Pabanda.com. Or Warpan official on Instagram. Please follow me. Share, like, subscribe. And I'll see you next week. Same place, same time for the live stream. In addition, for those who love dance or music or music in general and want to see me in action, there will be a live stream on IG on Jaja Stars account. That is Ja, J-A-H, J-A-S-T-A-R-Z. All right. Uh, at 8 p.m. Japan time to 10 p.m. It's a lockdown corona party. So please come through. It's a live stream. Big up on yourself. Love you. If you can't be good, be creative. And of course, we have to take you out to the song. Car. If we not tell you about the song. Run the track, my GJ. Run it. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. And boom. 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 Because they got a ginger make a YouTuber. Let's go. Because they got a ginger make a YouTuber. It came a show. Mad. Happy Mother's Day to all the mothers out there. Happy Mother's Day to all the mothers out there. Love them. If you don't like mothers, then I don't want you. Why you not the You in the hey, we running in a ear, man. Hey, mothers, 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 chicken party, everybody, mothers, everybody. <laughs> I'm out. Peace. Cut the tape. D-Rec, cut the stream.